Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Natik in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on Thursday. See, you miss one day of the week, and it throws off the whole ball game of what day is it? Where am I? What it's am I doing? A, it's a day that ends in wine. Why? And we're playing with yarn. Exactly. So it's a good day because it's a yarn day. Um, so we have a fun filled video for you guys this morning. We'll talk about a grand prize, give away a daily prize, talk about a brand new yarn from our friend Alexandra from Alexandra the Art of Yarn. Um, and then we will talk about what we're wearing, classes if we have time, and then we will open the store and start our day. So even though it is slow to let people start interacting with the video this morning. They're on, I can see them here. I will dive right in here. So we have the grand prize for Danielle's pattern, Life Under the Sea, which is this beautiful horseshoe lace um, cowl slash capelet that is done in kind of an A-line shape just by changing the needle size so you're not changing your stitch pattern at all, which makes it easy to memorize the pattern. And you just do either just two colors or in our original one, we had added in some beaded silk and sequins um, to add a little glitter in there as well, but two colors of fingering weight yarn or sport weight is all you need. We have for our grand prize, one skein of the gorgeous and glittery Agate Beach in moss green, which is Superwash Merino and Lurex, which is your sparkle, 409 yards a skein. And then we have one skein of Dark Side of the Moon Moonbeam, which is the cream, and then Pantone 2019, which is this gorgeous coral splash. And it is superwash merino and silk and is 434 yards. So you easily have enough to make the whole project. And how you get entered into our grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase, um, whether it's online at natikyarns.com, in the boutique, or even over the phone with us, you are going to get one entry. It is cumulative, so if you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. If you purchase five times, you get five entries. And that is from the 16th of this month through the 31st of this month. So through Monday. Where um, does the time go? I don't know. I mean, there's a song that says it goes out the window. Yeah, I could see that. If we had windows in here. Yeah, yeah. we have windows, they just don't open. Wait, maybe it just can go through panes of glass. I think so. But so then on Tuesday the 1st, we'll draw to see who the lucky winner is. But today we'll draw to see who's the lucky winner of this fun little daily prize. We have our pattern Simpral hat, which is a really easy beginner friendly hat pattern where you cast on with a contrast color and do, I think just like the first round and then you do knit two pearl two ribbing in the main color and then continue the rest of the hat in the main color. So I've done a little combo here of a full skein of the Scrumptiously Soft Juniper Moon Farm Saxony in the color 110 Columbia, which is a really beautiful denim blue. And then I paired it with a little mini skein of the charcoal gray to be your contrast color for the edge. So you for sure have plenty of yarn to make the hat full sized. It calls for about 100 yards. This skein by itself is 120. So if you wanted to make it a little slouchier, you definitely could because we made it skull cap size because originally we designed it with a skein that only had 87 yards. And how you get entered into the daily drawing is by doing what you beautiful people are doing already this morning, interacting with the video. If you react to the video with any of these lovely little bubbles down here, Depending on your device, they may be in a slightly different spot. I think I'm pretty funny, so let's throw a couple ha-has in there. And everyone always needs a hug. Um, so you get one entry per each of those. Then if you comment on the video, any comment, um, it can be a question, it can be like Pam just said hello. All of those get five entries per comment. And then if you want the most entries for your clicks, 
Um, then you click this handy dandy swoosh arrow in the corner, share it to your friends, share it to your stories. Those are the fastest ones. There are lots more options under more options. Um, and then you just have to come back to that day's video and comment where you shared and do one comment for each share. So I did sh my stories and I did my friends. So I need to do it twice. And that gives me 11 entries per share. Now mine are brownie points, so don't worry, I'm not hogging any of the entries. Um, and then we will go over to the handy dandy comment picker and see who the winner is based off of yesterday's video interactions. Tony Hendrickson, congratulations. Oh, how funny, she has an order in the back. So oh, we will... well, that's good timing. So uh, we will include your prize in your package, but if you win in your local, come by the boutique, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. And if you're not local, just let us know in the notes that you have a prize and we will include that in your shipment. Here's a quick little look at our cute little Christmas gnomes, I should say holiday. And they have batteries, so they light up. I think um, Karen I think, batteries. In yeah, them. I think she said they did, but yep. that requires two hands and I only have one available right now. Ooh, where's his little face? There's his face. They're so cute. Ta-da! Happy little gnomies. And then when we first opened and I panned sideways, I'm like, oh, look, there's the, uh, trying to zoom in here, there's the big gnomies? our tall standing gnomes. Oh, Those and there's little ones. Also. Yeah, they light up too. There's little ones at their feet. And since I'm zoomed in, there is our grand prize in person. I will leave that prize out since we know that her order is yep. in the back. Oh, and there's more gnomes. Gnomes there's, and pumpkins. There's gnomes everywhere. Gnomes galore in here. It's gnome time. Is it having a gnome-tastic day? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, let me just... And some caramels. Last thing set up. Caramels are good stocking stuffers. Plan ahead. Because they sell out. Isn't your favorite the jalapeno? Yes. It has just the right amount of spicy to notice that it's there, but not to be hot. All right. So I know you guys know that it is Alexandra, the Art of Yarn Week. So we have one of her brand new yarns that we're featuring today. Um, it is a DK weight. 100% superwash merino yarn, which means it's good for projects that you're going to be making that need to be easy care. Uh, and it comes in two versions. There is Seal Rock, which is a full size skein of 274 yards per skein. And then there's these fabulous little mini skeins that are called Seal Pups, and they are 54 yards per skein. So there are lots of projects where sometimes you just need a little pop of color and you know you hate to buy a whole 274 yard skein for I need you know 50 yards so she did these fabulous little minis to give you more options for color work accents stripes etc so this first gorgeous color is bubble gum which is this really pretty kind of blue pink you can see it's a little more orchidy in some spots but a little more almost coral flamingo in other highlights of the color that is really pretty quick somebody knit something up right in this gorgeous pink i do like the highs and lows in that this pink is called bubble gum I'm gonna try to like write down a list of the colors as we go so that at the end, this new paper that I found in the drawer is so thick it feels like mm. it's two pages. But that way we can post on the collective after the video, the full list of colors if anybody misses one. So after the video, I'll go in and load everything to the collective yarn patterns prizes, all the good things. I can pop in the comments each one as we go too. So 
So then we also have in Seal Rock the Hyacinth, which is this gorgeous, rich red violet. And then it's little seal pup hyacinth as well. You can see that sometimes it breaks a little more pink in the highlights, but a little more purple in the shadows. This yarn, because it is superwash, is good for sweaters, it's good for blankets, hats, scarves, cowls, because it can go in the washer and dryer. Eileen. Oh, purple. I know, oh, right? Just wait, Eileen. I know. Look at Here this one. Purple burple. What? That's funny. That's hilarious. Which is this gorgeous, rich, deep violet, but it breaks in this really fun, hot pink highlight. So you're getting a mild, like, tonal variegated, not like a true variegated. Um, Alexandra does not have a worsted weight yarn. DK is the fluffiest that she has, but you could double strand it for your worsted weight projects. We got some purple people watching. They're excited. Okay, purple purple is the fabulous purple with pink highlights. We'll do one more and then I'll show you guys a couple of projects. We're going blue with deep blue sea, which is kind of this like soft denim to cobalt. Like the mini skein actually dyed a little more cobalt than the big skein. Um, and the full skeins are 274 yards. The mini skeins are 54 yards. And I did find some fun projects this morning that pair well with minis. There will be good ideas in yesterday's collective because I had a different yarn in my head when it was linking at the beginning. Oh, and yeah. that's why there was so many fair isle. I'm like, oh, that's perfect for, you know, oh, that's not the one we did today. I better change. All right, so if you want a quick, easy project, you can do the Ricky hat, which is a super popular DK weight beanie, very simple. It is just garter stitch and you're changing the needle size. So it's knit tighter in the brim and looser in the rest of the hat. So you get that nice slouchy effect. But it's all just knit around, purl around, very easy, good for a therapy knit or beginners who just want to get comfortable doing the basics and it is only going to take one skein because it says 100 grams of any DK weight to fit pretty much your average adult head and it's a free pattern I did see this morning how I came across this one is that somebody did actually knit this hat out of this yarn oh nice um, and then close that cute one and go to this fabulous mm. shawl. This is Edison by Lori Versace, which has this really beautiful two color garter stitch rib pattern, um, which is really easy. It's basically like both rows or knit, what, however many this is, knit five, purl five. And because of how it's offset, it creates this really cool stripe sequence. And then at the end you have, let's see, this one might zoom in better this really pretty basket weave pattern and notice she did the repeat to where the basket weave lined up with the garter stitch columns and even her picos line <laughs> up with like Cute. everything lines up i'm like okay very good designer she thought out all the details this one has two sizes a small and a large and it takes Let's see, one skein each of colors A, B, and C. So three full skeins in different colors for this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Or five skeins if you're doing the big one, which would be like, I think probably two, two, one. She doesn't break that down very well in the preview. So if you're wanting to make the bigger one, make sure you buy the pattern first to determine how much yarn you need. But the smaller size. Oh, look, she's got a bigger border on this yeah. one. So I feel like it's two, two, one, but I don't know which one's which. Um, so I 
for the larger size, I would definitely download the pattern first before choosing your yarn. But on this one, it looks like the small is plenty good size at 50 and a half inch wingspan by 30 and a half down the center spine. Okay, so there's a couple fun projects for this yarn. Oh, Carolyn, you may have to collect some new yarn when you're here today. Then. <laughs> said be still my heart i know right i want to i want to rearrange them to try something but i'll wait then we have this gorgeous soft tropical blue key west which has kind of more aqua highlights and then more cornflower shadows so you're getting that kind of how the light sparkles through the water and then you can see it dies just a little darker in the mini skein Then if you really want a good aqua -y turquoise kind of color, there is cyan. Very beautiful, a little bit more muted teal in the full skein, a little bit brighter in the mini skein, just because the amount of yarn in the skein does affect how it takes the color as well. You know what I'm seeing? No. Comfort fade. Oh gosh, that would be gorgeous. Uh -huh. You need what, five colors for that one? Or four? I think it's four, but we tend to modify it to five when we choose colors, I think. I think mine's five. You have to look. I'm not sure. Let me find that one real quick because Susan just went rogue on I did. On <laughs> me. Comfort fade. And I know it's at least two skeins of one of the colors, but I think maybe that depends on size. Okay. Let me I'll wait till she's ready. Quick. So show you guys. pretty. Comfort fade is a fabulous cardigan, and it's almost sweater sweater weather for wearing it. Mm -hmm. Really easy. It's all just knits and purls except for your increases at the raglans, and then there is a little short row shaping in the shawl collar. But it's very easy knitting, and you're just blending colors together. I believe. Let's see. Yeah, four colors. Sizes 33 to 63, and she has Andrea Mowry's very good. So she has a fabulous breakdown of all four colors and how much you need of each. So it's going to vary depending on size. Like for color A, all the way up through a 42 and a half, only needs one skein of the main color. Um, these are all two all the way up until like the second to last one so it just you gotta you gotta look at the yardage for your size but very fun pattern i've knit one danielle's knit one susan's knit one her sister's knit one mine's like not quite it. finished okay well i was not going to narc you out i know but i'll narc myself on sweaters i get stuck on sleeve island Oh, and Kathy, you should totally, one, sorry, totally oh. make it. Before um, I show you guys more, a couple more colors, how you order from the trunk show, because Alexandra has too many things for us to get it all in by the time she gets here. Um, so you order from the pinned link and you order, let's say you need seven skeins of seal rock to make that sweater. And you put in that you need two bubble gum, one hyacinth, one bur purple purple, whichever colors you need in whichever quantity in the notes. And then we will pull the colors that you need based on that. Then if you like fabulous bright green, we have this gorgeous like Granny Smith apple green color called Sour Apple. This has beautiful tones of more of like that highlighter lime green down into that almost like avocado green in the shadows. This, I mean. Right? 
totally. Bubble gum and sour apple together. Amazing. Maybe not in Jolly Rancher flavors, but in yarn. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, you know I really like this next one. Mm -hmm. This is Daffodils. Which is funny, daffodils actually dyes lighter in the mini skeins. Yeah. So you get more of that softer yellow in the mini, but that deep, more marigold sunflower yellow in the full skein. Okay, let me grab a couple links and show you guys a couple more awesome projects. This one will stop acting weird. Oh, I've got to love technology. Yes. Boy, we okay. tell it, we love it. This was another one that I saw a project out of this yarn. I'll go back and show oh, you guys cute. in a second. This is Espalier by Marie Green, which if you guys have never knit a Marie Green pattern, she's also Olive Knits. That's her brand name. Uh, versus her actual name um, and her patterns are amazing easy to follow um, sized really well and they always have gorgeous details like this one has this really fun lattice work detail that ends in these little diamonds inside of the bigger diamonds at the end so you can kind of see the diamonds are smaller up here and they get bigger so the increases are all hidden within this pattern really pretty round yoke design. This style is easy to change the length of the sleeves if you want, change the length of the body shorter or longer if you want. All of that is very adjustable. The sizes run from a 32 and a quarter to a 64 and a quarter. And it takes between just under a thousand yards, which is only four skeins of this yarn, all the way up to 1820, which would be just under eight skeins of this yarn, which the just under is good. That means you have wiggle room for your swatch. But let me go up into projects because this is a fairly new pattern. This one was from September of this year, but here it is in a color that I haven't shown you guys yet of the seal rock. So you can see how beautiful and tonal this color knits, this yarn knits up and it gives you plenty of detail for your stitch patterns to show up. Very pretty. But I love that this brand new yarn has already been used in a brand new pattern. <laughs> Then we have this adorable hat. I'm in love with the Fair Isle patterning on this because you start mm. with the corrugated rib like we just did on the St. Chapelle class. So if you're like, I'm not sure how to do that, um, that is a great class for that. Um, then it's got this fun diamond pattern and then bubbles and then these little arrows at the top that kind of look like paper airplanes. That's really cute. I mean, it, it, or like from this one, it looks more like a starfish. So depending on which of your colors is more dominant, um, you get kind of a different look to the top of the hat. I see leaves. I saw a paper airplanes on the first mm -hmm. one, like yeah. there's the airplane. But then this one, I see like big, like starfish legs. That's a really pretty pattern. really like this one. This is Rising Up Beanie and it only takes 50 grams of each color so that's a half skein of each so you could make two hats opposite of one another which would be really fun. Okay more colors. Eileen. Yes, more colors. Eileen the first one was bubble gum. You love the pink that is bubblegum 
Oh, I didn't turn there some of is. these with the color name showing. Doo -doo -doo. We'll go over them again when we're all done, yep, but there's we'll a quick that. another look while Anna grabs the next color. Which is a fabulous melon called melon. It's very cantaloupe. That's pretty. It's got the gorgeous kind of more corally tones to the more orange persimmon tones. So you get that really rich, beautiful color that is kind of making my mouth water. <laughs> if you liked that sweater that we just showed and thought that color was amazing, we have Goldfish, which is a really rich, deep, kind of fall, fall leaves kind of orange. We know who needs this color and she's watching. Are there initials LB? Mm hmm My friend, Goldfish is your color. Seal Rock and Seal Pups. Seal Rock is the big skein, Seal Pups is the little skein. I'm gonna move this because we're yep. gonna need the room. Sounds like in movies and stuff when they kick people out. I yeah. need the room. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh-huh. Be still my heart. We have red carpet, which is a rich, deep, velvety red with the softer, kind of more cherry highlights. And it's even a little more of the cherry in the mini skein. We have a lot of colors. There's more to come. Oh yeah. Don't worry. We're starting to go a little bit neutral now, but not quite all the way. This one is kind of a lavender gray. This is gangster purple, which I'm <laughs> gonna have to ask her. Okay, explain Why? the name. This is basically, if purple were neutral, this would be what it would look like. It's got a kind of a charcoal gray undertone to it, but you can see it has those really pretty purple lavender highlights. So that is gangster purple. I'm gonna do one more and then show you guys a couple more projects. Here you go, Lisa. And Meg, she'll be watching later. Then this is another Ooh. almost neutral. This is evergreen, which is like a pewter gray with kind of sprucey teal highlights. And it's a little darker in the mini skein. It's almost a little more charcoal and spruce instead of the pewter and teal of the big skein. grab the links and I can show you guys a couple more fabulous projects. Aren't they pretty, Kathy? I kind of want one of each. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Eh, that part doesn't matter. I know, right? Okay, I kind of fell in love with this one this morning. Ooh. And there is a matching hat, so if you're a matching set kind of person, you can do the hat and cowl. But really pretty like three-dimensional rib stitch across this stockinette stripe background so you get like this really kind of fun almost plaid look to it There's, i'm very intrigued this one you can kind of see not enough contrast between the two colors so the pattern got a little lost but i mean any of the ones that are real high contrast colors it's like look how gorgeous they are this one There's a real festive kind of color combo. And I really like that they did this, that you're kind of using the colors equally because your ribbing at the beginning is one color and at the end is the other color. But if you don't like that and want it symmetric, that's an easy fix. You just do the ribbing and the color you started with. 
It's very flexible, but I like that they give you an idea of a way to do it different. Oh, there's kind of a more almost pink and green combo. It's kind of a yellow green, but we can work with that. Uh, this one is only going to take one skein each of your two colors would give you enough to do the cowl and the hat. See, here's somebody that did the hat too. Here, I'll show you guys the, I only linked the cowl, but here is the hat as well. And you can see that the lines continue up really nice on the top of the hat. I don't know if anybody actually showed the top, but you can see that there's these nice continuous lines. They don't just kind of disappear. They blend together. Then if you want a really pretty sweater, that's a cardigan. The Blue Hearts cardigan is gorgeous. Wow. This beautiful twisted rib lace pattern on the back, as well as on the center front bordering either side of the button band, and then just plain stockinette stitch sleeves. So you kind of do all the pay attention, pay attention, and then kind of get to zone out on your sleeves. And this one has a range from a 33 and three quarters to a 53 and takes from four to eight skeins. It's super gorgeous. I like that one a lot. Okay, but wait, there's more colors. Oh, I forgot about Whoops. that one. I'm excited about that one. I just twirled on my own linking. <laughs> All right, this is the last of the not really neutral colors. This is a, the one and only super fun speckle in this base. This is fairy dust, which is a gray silver base with sprinkles of lime and forest green, a little indigo. You can see little breaks of like kind of a raspberry purpley pink. There it is. You can really see there's a good little section in this mini skein right here where you can kind of see all the colors. That's fairy dust. Melanie, you want a shawl with all of them? Yes. Um, the pattern, wrap it real good. Oh, that get would all work. Minis. For sure. That, oh, wow, that'd be awesome. I, I think that called for 24 colors. There mm -hmm. are 18 colors of this, but it was a pretty good sized shawl. You could go six colors shorter and it would still be fine. Then the neutralist of all the colors, is that a word? It um, is now. We have creamer, which is the <laughs> undyed colorway. We're gonna need some more room. There's so many colors. Then we have this gorgeous natural, kind of natural gold caramel color. This is tarnished brass. Gold goes with everything. I love in the mini skeins, it broke with these little like olive speckles. But yeah, that is a very goes with everything color. Then we can go a little darker with filberts, which is like a really rich milk chocolate, but like the good milk chocolate, not the cheap waxy milk chocolate, like the stuff like, with like the brown this up butter here. In it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't reach it or I'd show everybody. Like the stuff that we carry, the good chocolate. Talk about good. I got some of the peppermint bark. Uh huh. We ate a lot Stop of it in it. My mouth is one boring. night. <laughs> I have a little bit left, but I need more. Last but not least, we have the gorgeous charcoal gray graphite, which is a really deep, rich, cool gray, almost black. Another one of those 
goes with everything classic colors. Um, so that is the full palette of Seal Rock and Seal Pups. I'll show you guys a couple more projects and then I am going to repeat all of the colors for you guys so you can write down your favorites and then we will post them in the collective afterwards as well. I think I okay, Melanie. <laughs> Take a screenshot, Melanie. Seal rock graphite. Okay, three more projects. Um, so we have the Avon Mountain Cowl, which is perfect for adding a mini skein into. Um, it has this beautiful rib pattern for the background and then these little lace with slip stitch sections of a contrast color for looks like about an inch each time. Really fun, simple bandana style cowl. You can see it starts out knitting it like a triangular shawl. So there's probably just one tiny seam at the end because look at this little tab right here. That like two inches there is going to be what you end up seaming. That color combo is really pretty, the teal. And this one is going to take basically one skein of your main color. And let me confirm, but I'm pretty sure when I looked this morning, it was only gonna be one contrast color. Yep, 53 yards, these are 54 yards. So awesome. one big skein and one little skein, that's it. I really like this one. I see myself um, casting this one on very soon. That is the Avon Mountain Cowl. Then one by a designer oh. that I've been stalking for <laughs> patterns lately. I haven't finished the one I started, but I think I have about 20 of them in my queue. She's taking over my pattern obsession. This is Embers by Lisa Much, and it is one main color and then one, two, three, four contrast colors in these little garter stripes with little short row wedges. I'm all over this one. I know. Like, whip, that, <laughs> whip this one out for me, uh, would you? I'll, uh, I'll add it to my list. And she has a nice breakdown of the yardage here. You need one full skein and then one, two, three, four. I'd get two minis of this color just to be safe. Otherwise you may be leaving off that last stripe right here. That would be no fun. So get two of your color E, but one, 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 one everywhere else. I'm obsessed with her lately. I just, I need more knitting time. Clearly, yes. Because I'm just collecting patterns and yarn. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Right? That's what we do. I love this one. It's already in my library, I'm pretty sure. Then last but not least, Makos, which is another fun one for the mini skeins because you're gonna use one main color and then all of your contrast colors. They did one here that really wasn't contrasty enough. I'm like, what were you thinking? I'm thinking, it, oh, it is two different ones, isn't it? Yeah, like it's huh. a darker gray yeah. and a lighter gray. So they did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contrast colors and one main color. And it is knit to where it is in the round, I believe, so that there's no floats or anything. I think they're all on the inside. I think it's done as a tube. And it's one skein of your main color and then seven minis at 35 meters each, which is less than 54 yards. It's more like 44 yards. So you have plenty if you get the seven minis. Or you can get, if you just want two colors, two skeins of the, the full size skeins and do a two color version. But I really like the like half simple little polka dot slip stitch stripes and then this really fun starburst pattern. That half and half makes it less likely for you to get to the point where you're like, I don't want to do the stitch anymore. I'm <laughs> get bored, you switch patterns. I just, I can't get over the rainbowness of this. Bright and cheery. Oh, hold on, Mako, or Mako or Mako, or somehow I didn't actually copy the link. Let me grab that one for you guys real quick. And then I am going to 
review the colors for you and the yarn. So Seal Rock is the full skein and it is 274 yards. And Seal Pups is the mini skein. It is 54 yards. They are both 100% superwash merino wool. We have Bubble Gum in the pink. Hyacinth is the red violet. Purple Burple is the more Susan-y purple. Then Deep Blue Sea in the Cobalt family. Key West in the Tropical Waters Blues. Cyan in the kind of more Aqua Turquoise family. Sour Apple, if you love Electric Lime Green. Daffodils in that gorgeous rich golden yellow. Melon, which is a very soft cantaloupe kind of color. Goldfish, which is a very fall rich orange. We'll come down to the neutrals and go back the other way. This is graphite in the charcoal gray. Filberts in the chocolate brown. Tarnished brass is the gold that goes with everything. Creamer is the natural undyed soft white. Fairy dust is the silver speckle with green and blue. Evergreen is the pewter gray with spruce. Gangster purple is the charcoal with the lavender violet shadows. And last but not least, red carpet is the deep rich crushed velvet red. Now we get to play? Yes. Those would be really pretty together if you want more neutral. I want to know, is Filbert's a type of grape, and more specifically, it is, is it a raisin? It, it's some food thing, and I don't know. Anna's looking it up. It. They're hazelnuts. Oh, that was without, way off. They're hazelnuts without the shell. Oh, those are the big ones, huh? They're the round, little round Where's ones. Where's the? They're only like this big. Oh, those they're super like my little. Favorites. They're the ones that are like the hardest to get. Yes. Open the nutcracker. My grandma used to have those on a table, you know, on a tray on the coffee table. I knew I knew the name from something. Yeah, they're the hardest ones to open. Okay, what's Absolute everybody's hardest. favorite color? Right. Oh, Shelly likes red carpet. I don't blame her. One little bit. Um, okay, so then I think I talked too much, so we will move on to what are we wearing. So let me pop the links in real quick, and then we'll talk about them. I like Kathy's answer, all of them. Yes, Gangster Purple. We definitely need to know what's behind that name. Right? Like, what? what's the story? Okay, so first up. I am wearing my Raise the Wolf top, which is a Cassie Pinka pattern with the beautiful Fair Isle design in the top. You've got just kind of little chevrons, the puppy dogs. These are supposed to be like tree roots, I think. Like the, you know, like the dogs are digging up the tree roots. It, it oh, had a theme. okay. Um, and then I'm not really sure what those were supposed to be, but they're like little arrowheads almost. Um, and in my sweater is actually one of Alexandra's yarns that was, I think, a Small Business Saturday exclusive. Oh, I remember that one. Ago. Yeah. I seem to have a healthy obsession with this color because I have two projects out of it. <laughs> I was going to say, it's your, uh, keep off the chill. Yeah. Um, get a little warm. Yeah. And then we'll pass over this gorgeous rainbow one more time as we shift to show you what Susan is wearing. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I forgot the name, Bias Before and After. All of a sudden my mind went blank. Oh no, I hate and that. It, it's, it's got beads, so you know, I have to like it. You add beads when you're binding off. So you do a provisional cast on so you can go back and bind off the 
beginning so that both ends get the beads. One shawl cake or 800 yards. You could do it out of this yarn too. It'd just be a little heavier. Yeah, I would just cast on maybe 20 less stitches and do two needle yeah. sizes bigger and it would still work. It's just a simple stockinette on the bias scarf. There aren't rules. You could do that with all the minis too. Just do each color. Ooh, color. that would be fun and simple. Ooh. Easy peasy. Susan, Susan's itching to cast on now. Her fingers are starting <laughs> I'm like, Okay, I think that's it, friends. Uh, so remember, if you want to order any of these colors, which of course you do, um, you go into the Alexander the Art of Yarn Trunk Show. You can click the pinned comment on the video right now. Um, it'll be posted in the collective shortly. You can get to it there, or you can search Alexander Trunk Show on our website, antiquearns.com, and get to the page with all of her yarns. Then you put how many of the base that you want in your cart, and before you check out, you put in the notes for that base, so you, if you're getting different ones, you would make sure to say Seal Rock to Deep Blue Sea. And then if you got Dark Side of the Moon, Dark Side of the Moon to Moonbeam Purple Rain. I'm looking over there trying to remember the names. <laughs> um, and that way we know which colors to pull for you because there are just too many of them for us to get it um, in our computer in time. And then if you need any help picking out colors, give us a call. We are 916-714-7719, and we're here till 5 o'clock Pacific time. We'll help you out. If we don't answer right away, that means the shop is really busy. Leave us a message. We will get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.